Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gun Squared here, back with another video, and today we are going to be playing just some regular Black Ops, but just like the old days, playing some Black Ops Three with the Bliss Cambo, Bliss Cambo, Bliss Camo. You no, know, just a regular day on Black Ops Three. You know, featured gun game. Let's play some gun game, actually. I'm sorry, but, um, like, so, the, what we're, I'm gonna be talking about today is, um, is, this is all about Double XL. If you don't know what Double XL is, oh my god, it's a company that, um, if this mic could calm down, it's a company that, uh, like, it's a, uh, how do I explain this, it's like a, it's just a company, right, who makes magazines, oh my god, and all they do is just make magazines, jeez, <laughs> so they make magazines, and this is not gonna work, so we're gonna leave, and just go to Team Deathmatch. Um, they make magazines. Uh, um, let's play some Skyjack. No, I want to play Splash. I haven't played Splash yet. But, um, they just go, um, they make magazines. And And, sorry, and once every year, they come up with a list of 10 people to make Okay, I'm sorry, this mic just sucks. To make their own, um... I don't know in this map, apparently. This would be very interesting. What's gonna happen? But um, like they make they pick ten people every year that they think is gonna be the big the big artist that year, and this, they're called the freshman class because they're supposed to blow up that year. Oh my god! So um, <coughs> but um, they. Big ten people that they think are gonna blow up that year, and this year, jeez man, and this year it was um, there was a lot of people who've been probably delayed, I would say, and um, like they've delayed their being there, and a couple of them actually declined the request because um, of. Th like, they didn't get it last year or whatnot. Oh. I have no idea about this. Oh. Oh, my dad. I didn't realize you can go in there. Hmm. Ooh, I like this. It's fun. But, um, back to the point. Like, he's back here. They're hacked in here. How dare they do that stuff? They got in there. I just can't get them now. Well, um, so. Other, so, so um, they pick those ten people, right? And they each one of them makes uh a their own freestyle, and then they put them into groups and they make uh, like a cipher all together. Uh, 
and make a cipher all together. And today I'm just gonna be writing the ciphers. Shoot. And so, honestly, I think um, I think the one that comes in number one is um Kyle's and Cap G's or not Kyle. What am I saying? Kyle Amine's and um. Kyle Amine's and um, a boogie with the hoodies, cause, cause Kyle went, um, in. I mean, if I, and I'm gonna rank them like all by how they did in the cipher. I think um, oh, we can't go over here. That's pretty bad. I, I don't like that. But um, oh shoot, I wasn't I didn't mean to reload. But um. So I think Kyle, and then I would say a boogie with a hoodie, because his was straight freestyle, he said. I got a hit marker, bro. Oh my goodness, that's so good. So good. But, um... But, um... So... And then I would say Amine's, because... I mean, a boogie had a nice flow to his, and he didn't sound make it sound like complete trash. Um, I think I like, like, as a rapper, Amine the best, but he just didn't pull through. What's this? This, hey. this is one of those DLC weapons that you get from Supply Drop and opening them with a thousand dollars. But anyway, um... Like, oh, he's up there. You can, how do you get up there? I want to go up there. But we're going to go up there, hopefully. No, you can't go up there. What the heck? How do you get up there, then? But, um, see the one that had this? Yeah, he had this. But, um. And then I would say the second cipher was, um, probably, like, uh, I would say the one with um play the one with Playboy Cardi X and um Playboy Cardi Ugly God X and Made in Tokyo. If this is good, this is gonna be very controversial, controversial, controversial. But um, honestly, I believe that because. Even though X did his own, like, hit, like a second freestyle, he still, um, they still made it, like, all of them were hyped, and then, even though X didn't really go with all of their flows, he still, um, he still, whatchamacallit, he still spit bars, even though it didn't really go with the mood of the whole thing, so, I mean... So yeah, that's probably why I would say they were, um, they were second, and then the, um, oh, and the, how I think they went was, I think, um, Ugly Dog God did the best out of all of them, and then X, because he just spit some straight bars, even though it sounded like he was, like, satanic or something, it would be him, X, um, and then him X. And then, yeah, this is a very hard decision between Made in Tokyo and Playboy Cardi. But I'll probably say Playboy Cardi because he sounded a lot better with a beat and then Made in Tokyo. I mean, I still mess with Made in Tokyo. I just think he could have done a lot better. But, um. So, yeah. And then the last one is the one with Kamaya and um, PNB Rock and Cap G. And the way I would list those is because uh, PNB Rock, PNB Rock did actually pretty good, and Cap G did he went off. But the only thing I didn't really like was Kamaya's part, even though she had a th she had a, like a crazy long part. She had a three minute part. 
and she didn't really do anything with that. She didn't really go off. She just rapped for a long time in the same old flow beat. Or the same slow, like, flow that she has. If she could have... Sorry. If she could have, like, done something with that, then I would have probably put, um, put her in front of PMB Rock because... Because... Um, because PMBs wasn't that great, but he still did pretty good. But if I would list them, I would say Cap G, because he just went off, like, actually off. And then, um, uh, PMB Rock, and then Kamaya. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you do, subscribe for more.